In this video, we're going to take a better look at the malware dataset. So again, if you didn't download it yet, go to this link over here, which is also in the description and download it. Once you have it download, unpack it so that you have the file malware data.csv in the same folder with the script. Okay. Now, like I said, we're going to use pandas. So we'll start by importing pandas as PD. And then we're going to instantiate our malware data set as mal data. And since this is a CSV file, we're going to read CSV malware data dot CSV. And the separator in this case is a vertical line. You can verify that by looking or by opening the CSV file in a text editor. Okay. Um, so what we have to do next um, is to separate. So this is the entire data set, which contains the 138,000 uh, files. So we'll have to separate it into the legitimate and the um, uh, malware files. Okay. Uh, as previously noted, the first 41,000 uh, samples are uh, the legitimate files while the next 96,000 are the malware files. But when we separate them, uh, what we'll also be doing is to actually drop the column, which is called um, legitimate, because um, we'll be using that column for uh, the labels. Okay, so let's say legit equals mal data. And we start from zero, so from the first sample to the 41,323. So this is, these are all the um, legitimate files. And then, like I said, we're going to drop the um, column called legitimate. Okay. Of course, over the axis equals one. So axis equals one specifies the vertical axis. Okay, then we have uh, the malware samples, so mal data, which is also a subset of the mal data, and we start from 41,323 all the way up to the end. And we also need to drop the legitimate column over the axis equals 1. All right, now we can look at the shape of these uh, subsets of, uh, of the malware data and we'll say print um, the shape of the legit data set is percent as samples, percent as features, percent legit dot shape zero and of course legit dot shape one okay and we're going to do the same thing for the uh, malware subset so the shape of the malware data set is percent as samples percent as features percent legit shape zero not legit but mall in this case, mall.shape0, I was on autopilot, mall.shape1. Okay, and now shift enter to run this. Might take a little while because it's importing and all that stuff. And this is of course a 100,000, 138,000 uh, row of data, which is a lot. And it has to load it all in memory. Okay, so uh, we're going to ignore this warning, this little warning. And uh, as we can see, we have 56 features um, that uh, define these samples are as being legit or malware. But what are these features? So we'll say print mal uh, data dot columns. Okay, shift enter. Uh, mall data dot columns. All right. 
and as we can see uh, there are 57 variables minus the legitimate one so 56 variables or features that define uh, a sample as being legit or malware. Now some of these features might be more important than others in uh, defining a sample as being legit or malware. So let's say for example we want to look at the first uh, top samples uh, from the data set. We'll say print maldata.had5 okay and as we can see uh, we only get some little information we don't get the entire column so we have the name the md5 the machine and I believe this uh, this is uh, these are the last three of them yeah version legitimate and load configuration size legitimate equals one probably means that these are the legitimate files zero meaning that they are the malware so since there are so many columns a lot of the data is not shown here or it is truncated now if we want to print the entire data or the entire 57 columns uh, we have to do some optional setting in uh, python so and of course so in actually in pandas so we'll have to set the option of uh, display dot max columns to none because by default I guess it's six or seven or something like that or even ten uh, so if we set the option display max column to none max columns to none then uh, shift enter and then let's say uh, let's say we're gonna print the same thing over here so print mold data shift enter and now we get all the 57 columns all the data in the 57 uh, columns so all the features um, you could do a little more visual inspection um, by looking at specific samples from the legit and the malware subsets using the take method so let's say for example we do print legit.take and it's going to take the positional argument so we're going to look at the second sample so position one the first one is position zero so second sample in the legitimate uh, data set shift enter and as we can see all the features with their values in the second sample or the second row in the legitimate data set we can do the same thing uh, for the malware so take one shift enter and as said you can do some more visual inspection on them all right now that we've gotten ourselves a little bit more familiar with the malware data set in the next video we're going to look into what portable executable or pe files are because after all we're doing malware detection using pe headers all right now in closing i want to remind you that i'm building a python for ethical hacking course and in the description of this video you'll have a link to subscribe to a list to which i will send a one-time big discount when i finish this course so in the course you'll learn the basics of python and how to write python programs for your cybersecurity assessments and penetration tests again check the link in the description all right that said please like subscribe and share this video with your cybersecurity and machine learning geeks thank you for watching